Hello, hello. How are hello. you, my dear participants? Good evening. How are you today? Fine, and you? Fine, thank you. Just worried about the rain. I thought that uh, maybe you won't be able to connect, but it's good to have you here, my dears. Okay, today is Thursday, so we are going to conclude now section four and maybe start section number five, okay? So um, today I'm going to continue with the presentation of, let's see, my, the missing part of the modifiers that uh, I was expecting to cover today. So let me see, let's share my presentation. Okay, very good. <clears throat> So you were asking about the other expressions that uh, you, you th that you see that uh, were used in the conversations and in the platform. Uh, they are called pronouns one and ones. Okay, so those also work as modifiers. So before we continue, I would like to explain this. Okay, <clears throat> those are pronouns one ones. And you, we can use the words one or ones to replace nouns in a sentence. For example, I have two cars. The blue car is old and the black car is new. The blue car has two doors and the black car has, one, has four doors. I have, but if you see, you have to repeat the word car, car, every, every, time you talk about a color, you have to say car, 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 okay? So, to eliminate that uh, monotony in the word car and repeating many times, you can say, I have two cars. The blue one is old and the black one is new. So you continue talking about the cars, right? But you establish the word cars only once. <clears throat> The blue one has two doors and the black one has four doors, okay? So if you see, you repeat the word one, 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 but you don't repeat again the word cars, cars, cars. So the word one in this case is replacing the word car. Okay, so let's read. I have two cars. I, I have, have two cars. Two car. The blue one, the the blue blue one, one. is old. It's old. Oh. And the black one is new. And, and the, the black, black one, one is new. new. The blue one has two doors. The blue the one, has, one two doors. has two doors. And the black one has four doors. And, and, and the black, black one, one has four, four doors. doors. Okay, very good. So that's the use of one in, in this exercise. I have here another definition, and it says one can work can work as an adjective and means a single item, only one. Examples, give me one pencil. You don't have to give me so many pens. I only need one pen. It may also be used as a pronoun when you speak of a single item, which has already been mentioned earlier. For example, my teacher took an apple for herself and gave me one she is the one I told you about. This is the case when we were, um, we're this is the case we, we were working last night, okay? She is the one I, I told you about, but we don't mention the name, but we are talking about a lady, a woman. So one, <clears throat> once uh, is a pronoun meaning uh, many, uh, this is for plurals, if you see, we have added a letter S, once. So once is a pronoun meaning many. For example, I enjoyed the roses here, especially the red ones. Okay? The red one, the, the word once replaced the word roses. Okay? I enjoyed uh, all the roses here, especially the red ones. These are the only ones I have thrown away the rest, okay? <clears throat> These are the only ones 
only ones, roses, talking about roses. These are the only ones I have thrown away, the rest. Okay, esas son las únicas. Las demás, <coughs> las tiré o las hice a un lado, ¿verdad? Okay, here I have another example. I prefer this blue t-shirt to the red one. The word, the red one, replaced the, um, the, the, the shirt, right? I prefer this blue t-shirt uh, to the red t-shirt. So we don't have to repeat once again the word t-shirt. Number two, she likes, um, she likes the pink roses more than the red. And what word do you like? The red ones. Ones. Once you add an S, because we are talking about plural, roses. Okay. Number three, which one of those of these uh, buses goes to Smith Street? Okay. So in this case, which one? one? Which one? ¿Cuál, verdad? Porque estamos, estamos usando la palabra which. Entonces, después de la palabra which, eh, usamos one. Which one of these buses goes to Smith Street? Porque tenemos que escoger entre uno. ¿verdad? Ok, these plates are too small. Please get, please go, get me some bigger one, one. or one. 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 Plural, with an S, because we are talking about plates. Okay, number five. The houses in the suburban area are cheaper than, than the, ones. The, ones the ones in the urban area. Urban area. Because we are talking more than one house. This is plural. Okay, in here is one or one. 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 One, without an S. One of the sheep is missing. Okay? Una de las ovejas está perdida. Number seven. These books are mine. The? The ones. ones. The ones on the top shelf are yours. So it's plural. So we use ones. Okay, number eight. One of the three uh, watches shown to me uh, by the salesman, I choose the most expensive one or ones? Ones. Ones. No. One. One. It's plural. I choose the most expensive one. Escogí el más caro. Esa palabra de most Eh, ya lo, lo hace específico, ¿verdad? Ok. Um, this story is, an inter is as interesting as the other. As the other one or one? One. One. This story is as interesting as the other one. Ones. Aquí sí va eh, plural. Esta historia está interesante Como las otras, ¿verdad? As the other ones. Aquí se lleva esto. Number two. Oigo una interferencia por ahí. ¿Qué será? Ustedes escuchan una interferencia que no sé si se oigo o es algo. Yes. Pero es bien extraño. Ok, vamos a ver si se regula. Si no, vamos a poner en mí a ver si ustedes me oyen a mí. ¿Me escuchan bien ustedes a mí? Si no me escuchan bien, me pueden escribir al chat. Porque es una prueba para ver cuál es el micrófono que está fallando. Usted se escucha bien, teacher. Ah, ah ok. Se oye bien, teacher. Perfecto. Sí, bien. Entonces hay una otra interferencia que ya la vamos a identificar. Ok, very good. Number 10. The most expensive shoes are not necessarily the ones. 
the on. ones that are the most expensive. Very good. Eh, es un poco rara la, la oración porque dice, los zapatos más caros no necesariamente son los que son los más caros. Es un poco extraña la, la oración, pero, pero bueno, el punto es que como habla de shoes, plural, so we use ones. Very good. I like that you have it clear. Me gusta que ya manejan esa parte. Veamos. Si me deja moverme. Ok, very good. Here I have a, here I have another definition. One once. We use one or once when we don't want to repeat the already mentioned noun. Lo que les estaba diciendo, ¿verdad? Lo utilizamos para reemplazar a un noun cuando no queremos repetirlo. One refers to the previous mentioned singular noun. Once refers to the previously mentioned plural noun. For example, I don't, I, don't, I don't know which skirt I like the most, the yellow one or the blue one, okay? So we are choosing only one item. But if I say, I'd like to have some apples, I'd like to have red ones, please. Okay, so we are talking about apples. So we are talking about plural. So we need to add the letter S and say one. Okay, let's repeat. I don't know which skirt I like the most. I don't know which I don't skirt, know which I, skirt like the most. I like the most. The yellow one or the blue one? The yellow one or the blue one. I'd like to have some apples. I'd like, I'd like to have, to have, have some, some apples. apples. I'd like to have the red ones, please. <laughs> I'd like, like to have the red ones, please. I'd like to have the red ones. Okay, very good. So I will show you these 10 sentences and I would like that you can tell me um, voluntarily you can choose one and that you can uh, give the right answer. Okay, so I'll give you one minute to think about. Les doy un minuto para que la vean y piensen cuál sería la respuesta. <clears throat> okay, when you're ready, you let me know. Okay. Okay, number one, who would like to start? Um, there are five building blocks on the table. Mm -hmm. For pink one mm -hmm. and one yellow. Okay. Aunque ahí suena un poco redundante, pero dice en one yellow one. One yellow one, ah. Uh -huh. Es un poco redundante, ¿verdad? En realidad, no seguro, pero... el último one no debería de ir porque es redundante, <coughs> pero, pero para efectos del ejercicio, pongámoslo. Ok, very good. What about number two? Thank you, uh, Noé. Ok. You're welcome. Ok. Uh, who else would like to continue? Me. Okay, Katya, tell me. I like to try this sweet. Try on. Try on this sweet. Mm -hmm. Which one? The black one. Okay, very good. I don't like the color of the other ones. Okay, very good. So, uh, This suit, en ese caso es como suit, suit. Ajá, porque estamos hablando de un try on. Yes, and try on. Es como ponérmelo, ¿verdad? Probarme. Mm -hmm. uh, very good. Nice. Ok, number three. Who would like to say number Hi, three? Hi, Ok, Larissa. Go ahead. Marcus has got many sweaters, but he simply wears the blue one because It's his favorite. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Larissa. Number four. You're welcome. 
volunteer for number four? Me, teacher. Okay, Julie, go ahead. Okay, give me the papers, please. I. Okay, it's a no word. <laughs> Sorry, give, uh, me, give me the papers, please. There are three different ones. Okay. The green one, the yellow one, or the red one. Okay, very good. So the first one is plural, right? Mm -hmm. Different ones. You did it great. Lo hizo muy bien. Yo me he atrasado aquí en escribir. Okay, very good. And then the other one, the other two are singular. The green one, mm -hmm. eh, the yellow one, and the red one. Very good. Okay, great. Uh, I need a volunteer for uh, question number five, for uh, sentence number five. Um, me, have you already read your your book? Your book, which one? The one you have to read until Friday. Okay, uh, very good. No, no, but I read Oliver Twist and Twister. Uh, <clears throat> the one, the one I have to finish until next week. Okay, very good. In <clears throat> this case, all of them are one, right? Singular. Because yes. we are talking about one book. Very good. Uh, Miguel, would you like to participate? Hello, Miguel. Hello, teacher. Hello, my dear. Can you help us with number six? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, okay. I've got some great new CDs. Mm -hmm. I already listened to one. Sorry. No por qué no se mueve. Ah, no se quiere mover. No se quiere mover. Okay. Veamos. Vamos a poner de otra forma. Ok. Desapareció. Ok. I've got okay. some great new CDs. I already listened. To the one mm -hmm. on my bedside table. Ok. But I haven't. Mm -hmm. But I haven't listened to the one next to the CD player. Okay, very good. In both cases, we are talking about one CD, uh, CD, so it's singular. Okay, thank you, Miguel. Let's see who else is here. Nicolas, would you like to help us with number seven? Okay. Okay. Can you see the cars? Can you see the cars over there? Mm -hmm. The oral one. Mm -hmm. um, it's mine. It's mine. And the new white one mm -hmm. belongs to my boss. To my boss. Very good. Okay, number eight. Let's see who has not participated yet. All of you. Oh my God. Okay, someone else that would like to repeat? Okay. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Can you see in, no. Look, uh, please. Uh, okay, thank you. Look at those. Trusters. Please, sorry. Trusters. Trusser. Mm -hmm. I like them. I really what? like them. I really like them. Mm -hmm. Which one are you talking about? Which one singular or which one's plural? Ones. Which yes. Ones? Yes, which ones? Be because you have are here you? two keys that we are talking about them and then you say yes. are. So okay. it's plural, okay? okay? Which ones are you talking about? Which ones? 
are you talking about? The blue one or the black one? Okay. Which ones are you talking about? The blue <clears throat> ones and the black ones. And listen, in this case, trousers I are like jeans, okay? Son como pantalones, ¿verdad? Entonces los pantalones es como el caso de los zapatos. Aunque solo sea una, digamos, una pieza, pero al tener dos piernas se cuenta como plural. Entonces decimos, look at those trousers. I really like them. Which ones are you talking about? The blue ones or the black ones? Okay. Ah, okay. Plural in all cases. Okay. Thank okay. You. You're welcome. Very good. Number nine. Volunteer. Hi, teacher. Okay, Larissa, go ahead. Larissa. Where, are, where are my sweets? Oops, are you talking about the ones on the table? I'm sorry, I hate them. I ate them. I ate them. Me los comí. Ah, I, <laughs> <laughs> I ate them. <laughs> yeah, very good. Okay, number 10. <clears throat> uh, me, okay, no, Susie, go ahead. I think you left your workbook <clears throat> on the kitchen table. No, these are the ones of Jimmy. Very good. It's plural because we are talking about books. books. Okay? okay, nice. Good job. So now I want that all of you can repeat the sentences, okay? There are five building blocks on the table. There are five, are building, five, blocks building, on the five building, building blocks on the table. Four pink ones. <coughs> Four, Four pink, pink, ones. pink ones. And one yellow one. And one, and yellow, one, one yellow, yellow one. one. I'd like to try on this suit. I'd like, like to, to try on this suit. Which one? Which, Which one? one? The black one. The, the black, black one. one. I don't like the color of the other ones. I don't, I don't like, like the color of the other ones. other ones. Marcus has got many sweaters, but he simply wears the blue one. Marcus, Marcus has, has many got many, many sweaters, but, the, but he simply wears the blue one. one. Because it's his favorite. Because, because it's his favorite. favorite. Give me the papers, please. Give me the papers, 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 please. Papers, there are please. three different ones. There are three, there are three different, different ones. ones. The green one. The green, the green one, one, one. The yellow one. The yellow one. one or the red one. Or the or red, red one. The red one. Have you have you already read your book? Have you have read, you read, 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 your read your book? Which one? Your, which one? Which one? The one you have to read until Friday. The, the one, one, the one, one you have on to read Friday. until Friday. No, but I read Oliver Twist. No, no, no but I read, I read Oliver, Oliver Twist. Twist. And Twist. And, and Twist. Twist. It's the one I have, I have to finish until next week. The one, the one I, I have, have to finish, finish until next, next week. week. I've got some great new CDs. I, I got, got some great, some great, 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 great I've already this. already listened to the one on my on my bedside table. I, I already, already listened, listened to the one, 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 one on my bedside, bedside table. table. But I haven't listened to the one next to the CD player. <clears throat> Can you see the cars over there? Can, Can you see, see the cars, cars over, over, there? There? over there? The old red one is mine. The old red one, the the old red red one, one is mine. mine. And the new mine. white one belongs to my boss. And the new, the new white, white one, one belongs, to my, one boss. belongs to my boss. Look at those trousers. Look at, at those trousers. I really like them. I, I really like, like, them. like them. Which ones are you talking about? Which, Which ones, ones are, are you talking, talking about? about? The, the blue ones or the black ones? 
The blue, the blue ones, ones or the black, or black, black, ones. black ones. Where are my sweets? Where, where are, where are my, my sweets? Oops, are you talking about the ones on the table? Oops. Oops. Are, you, are you talking about, about the ones on the, the table? on the table? I'm sorry, I ate them. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, ate I ate them. So see, so see. So see. I think you left your workbooks on the kitchen table. I think you, I think think you, think you left your workbooks, workbooks on, on the, the kitchen, kitchen table. table. No, these are the ones of Jimmy. No, these no, are, these the, are these the ones, are the ones, ones of, of Jimmy. Okay, very good, <laughs> my dears. We have finished now the pronouns one and once. Is it clear for you? Yes. Yes? Okay, very good, nice, I like that. I'm going to start share this and I would like to tell you that with this, we con conclude uh, module four or section four, okay? So we are going to start introducing uh, section number five. So in order to do this, uh, I'm going to share the platform for you to see what I'm talking about. So let's see. Okay, very good. In the platform, we have 5.0 lesson objective, and it says, in this session, we will learn about present perfect. Present perfect is put in practice during the conversation. So in the platform, you will find in section number five, um, this conversation that it, it says a visit, to, a visit to New Orleans. And it's a, it's a conversation between Jen and Todd. And Jen says, it's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New York, in New Orleans long? And Todd said, just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Ooh, I've already done that too. <coughs> Have you ridden at a streetcar? In a streetcar? They are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. <laughs> so it's a very funny conversation because uh, the lady is very excited about uh, his friend being in New Orleans and she's trying to, to show him the city. And she's asking about different places in order to go with him and show the places, but he actually visited those, those places and he is very tired. So she simply wants to rest and take it easy and relax. Okay, so the lady is like, okay. <laughs> so, but here, um, go, let me stop this in order to go to my presentation to explain what is the present perfect, ab perfect about and how to explain it to you. Okay, very good. Uh, let's see. Oops, where's the definition? Okay, there it is. Okay, uh, let's see. We Can you see my screen? No, teacher. No, no pueden ver mi pantalla. No, only no. you. Only me. <clears throat> only okay. we are looking at you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not nice, but I need that you can watch my presentation. <laughs> okay. There it is. Can you observe it now? Can you watch yeah. it? Okay, very good. So here I have a very graphical explanation of what the present perfect is and how we use it. Okay, how do we use it? For example, we use present perfect to talk about past recent events. Okay. We don't say when or with time expressions, including now. Uh, for example, we say, we use keywords like just, already, yet, or recently, or today, or this week, or this month, etc. And the examples I have here says, she had an accident. Ella tuvo un accidente. Si se fija, no digo cuándo exactamente, pero... Es algo que recién ha ocurrido. I've passed the exam. Yo pasé el examen. 
ese, a, ese she's, quiero aclarar, y más adelante lo vamos a ver, que no es eh, el verbo to be, sino que normalmente cuando ustedes ven eh, esa, ese apóstrofe, la S y el, ver, y el verbo had, que es el verbo to have, en pasado participio, aquí en esta expresión she's, lo que estamos diciendo es she has had an accident. Igual que en este I, ¿verdad? En este I, lo que estoy diciendo es I have passed the exam. Nada más que este I es la forma contractada de I have. ¿Sí? sí. Entonces, vean los verbos que están en azul. ¿Qué notan ustedes en esos verbos? En, en los segundos verbos en la oración. ¿En qué tiempo están? Past participle. In past participle. Perfecto. Porque el presente perfecto lo, lo conformamos con el verbo have en presente y has si es para tercera persona. He, she, it. Y el verbo principal, the main verb, is the past participle. For example, have you finished yet? Yes, I, I've already finished. Ok, ¿ya terminaste? Yes, I've already finished. Have you seen any good films recently? I haven't seen Ted today. Maybe he isn't feeling well. Ok, so what about uh, the other tenses? Entonces vean, vean cómo va la, la gráfica. Eh, son eventos del pasado, ¿verdad? Donde están las dos X, son eventos del pasado, pero un pasado bien reciente al día de, a now, ¿verdad? A, a este día. Mm -hmm. But I can use also the present perfect to talk about past experiences. Eh, we don't say when these events happen, ¿ok? And use the words never, ever, before, and also the superlative ever. Eh, the superlative plus ever. Uh, and sometimes we use a number of times until now. For example, let's see here. Uh, we have been or we've been to Rome and Florence. I haven't read that book. Have you ever read it? I have read it. I have never read it. This is the best food I've ever tried. Esto es como un superlativo, ¿verdad? Esta es la mejor. Entonces aquí, ¿cuál es el superlativo que estoy usando? Best. If this is the best food I've ever tried. Esta es la mejor comida que he probado. No hay nada que, que sobreponga eso, ¿verdad? Es un superlativo. I've seen this film three times. He visto esta película tres veces. Okay, so what about the red, the red color? The red color is when we want to show unfinished situations. It means situations that started in the past and have not finished yet. For example, we can, um, and maybe this situation can be, uh, can continue until the future. And we use uh, expressions like how long, for, since. And we use the word all plus a time expression. Or we use the word lately. For example, how long have you been here? ¿Cuánto tiempo has estado aquí? I have been here all day. He estado aquí todo el día. How, uh, I'm sorry, we have been married for 20 years. Vean, he estado casado o casada por 20 años. Es algo que ocurrió en el pasado, no sabemos cuándo, pero continúa hoy y probablemente sigue, ¿verdad? En los años venideros. Eh, I've lived in this house all my life. He vivido en esta casa toda mi vida. We have been very busy lately. He estado muy ocupada últimamente. Ok, so, is it clear? ¿Creen ustedes que, que está claro con los dibujitos para qué utilizamos el presente perfecto? ¿Yes? ¿Soso? ¿Soso? Yes. Okay. ok, let's let's do sentences and then we will continue uh, observing some uh, um, different ways to explain it and different sentences in order to, to get ready. Ok, let's read. 
She's had an accident. She's had an accident. An accident. I passed the exam. I, I, I passed the exam. exam. Have you finished yet? Have you finished, Have you finished yet? yet? Yes, I've already finished. Yes, yes. yes. I've already, already finished. finished. Have you seen any good films recently? Have, Have you, seen you seen any good films recently? <coughs> I haven't seen Ted today. I, I haven't seen Ted today. today. Maybe he isn't feeling well. Maybe, Maybe he isn't feeling, well. Feeling, well. Feeling, well. feeling well. We have been to Rome and Florence. We have been, been to Rome and Florence. Florence. I haven't read that book. I haven't, I haven't read, read that, book. that book. Have you ever read it? Have, have you ever read it? I have never read it. I have, I have never, read, never it. read it. This is the best food I have, I've ever tried. This is the this best, is the best food, food, food I, I ever I tried. Ever tried. I've seen this film three times. I've seen this film three times. How long have you been here? How long, How long have, you have you been here? here? I have been here all day. I have, I have been, been here, here all day. day. We have been married for 20 years. We have, we have been, been, married married been married for 20 years. years. I've lived in this house all my life. I live in this house all my life. All my life. We have been very busy lately. We have, we have been, been very, very busy, busy lately. lately. Okay, very good. So, uh, let's see. Um, this is another chart that explains the structure. So, basically, the structure of the present perfect tense is that you have the subject that can be I, you, they, and we. And then we have the helping verb or the auxiliar verb. And the auxiliar verb is have, okay? Have, el verbo tener, have. And the main verb is in past participle. ¿Cuál es el pasado participio? Ya veníamos hablando de los participios en la clase anterior y dijimos que es la tercera columna eh, de las listas de verbo, ¿verdad? Usualmente cuando tenemos verbos eh, regulares no hay problema porque el pasado participio es lo mismo que el pasado. Y ya sabemos que solo lo, lo hacemos agregando ed o ed, ¿verdad? En el caso de decide, decided. Y decided es pasado y además es el pasado participio. Igual que finish. Finish, finished. Ok. But... It becomes a little bit more difficult when we have irregular verbs, like like uh, the verb lose, the past is um, the past participle well. is lost. Okay, um, in the case of chose, the past participle is chosen. In the case of go, the past participle is gone. Okay, so for he, for he, I mean for she, for he, and for it, we use the helping verb has. Okay, so let's read. I have I have decided. I have decided. I have decided. Have decided. You have finished. You, you have, have finished. finished. They have lost. They, they, have, they lost. have lost. We have chosen. They we have, have chosen. Have chosen. 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 She has gone. He has, he has gone. gone. He has gone. He has gone. gone. It has gone. It, it has, has gone. gone. It has gone. Very good. So here I have for you the affirmative, negative, and interrogative form. And this is the formula. For the affirmative, uh, we use the subject, in this case I, the helping verb has, I mean have, or has, depending, but in this case, since I'm, since I'm talking about I, I say I have. And the, and the main verb, try, is in past participle, try. And then we have the complement. I have tried sushi before. Okay, I have tried sushi before. Yo he probado el sushi antes, ¿verdad? For the negative sentences. I have the subject, 
the helping verb have or has, the particle not plus the past participle. And in this case, I say, I have not tried sushi before. Uh, for the interrogative sentences, what I have to do is to move the helping verb have or has at the beginning of the sentence. And I say, have you tried sushi before? Okay, so let's repeat. I have tried sushi before. I have, I have not tried sushi before. I have not tried sushi before. I have not tried sushi before. Have you tried sushi before? Have you tried sushi, try try sushi, sushi before? before? Okay, very good. So that's the structure for affirmative, negative, and interrogative mm -hmm. sentences. Okay, very good. Uh, so here I have extra uh, example for you. Okay, here I have uh, the affirmative. For the affirmative, we use, as I said before, um, complement words yes. like since, for, yet that i can use yet also for for questions and for negative sentences already that it's only for affirmative and just for the affirmative the ones that are in blue i say i have jumped uh, you have eaten he has cooked she has written it has flown we have shouted you have drunk they have opened okay so for the affirmative uh, the formula is um, in the contractive, in the full form, I say I have, but in the contracted form, I say I've, okay? Let's say I have, repeat, I have, I have, I have, I have. I've, I've, I've. Okay. I've. She, she has, she has, she has. She has. She she's. Has, she's. 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 Ojo con este she's. Aquí, aquí no, no estamos hablando del verb to be. ¿Verdad? Aquí estamos hablando de eh, she eh, has. ¿Verdad? She has. Entonces, cuando ustedes ven este she's, pero luego ven un verbo en pasado participio, automático ustedes saben que no está hablando del verbo to be, sino es un presente perfecto. Okay, uh, the negative, we say, we haven't, she has it. Repeat, we haven't, we haven't, we haven't. she hasn't. She hasn't. she hasn't. she hasn't. Okay, very good. So let's repeat the affirmative sentences. I have jumped. I, I have, have jumped. jumped. You have eaten. You, you have, have eaten. eaten. He has cooked. He, he has, has cooked. cooked. She has written. She, she has, has written. written. It has flown. It has it flown. Has flown. We have shouted. We have, we have shouted. shouted. You have drunk. You have, you drunk. have drunk. They have opened. They, they have, have opened. opened. Okay, now the negative. I haven't <laughs> jumped. I, I haven't jumped. jumped. You yeah. haven't eaten. You, you haven't, haven't eaten. eaten. He hasn't cooked. He, he hasn't, hasn't cooked. cooked. She hasn't written. She hasn't, she hasn't written. written. It hasn't flown. It hasn't, hasn't flown. flown. We haven't shouted. We haven't, we haven't shouted. shouted. You haven't drunk. You, you haven't, haven't drunk. drunk. They haven't opened. They, they, haven't, haven't, they opened. haven't opened. Okay, now let, let's see the questions. Let's say the question. Have I jumped? Have I jumped? Have, I jumped? Have, I jumped? Have you eaten? Have, Have, you, eaten? Have you eaten? Has he cooked? Has, Has he cooked? cooked? Has she written? Has she, Has she written? She written? Has it flown? Has, Has it flown? flown? Have we shouted? Have we Have shouted? We shouted? Have you drunk? Have you drunk? Have, you Have drunk? they opened? Have, Have they opened? Have they opened? opened? Okay, very good. So let's see, um, here I have other examples. Uh, you say, I've been working for the affirmative and for the negative you say, I haven't been working. For the affirmative you say, have I been working? 
uh, let's see. And here I have with the other uh, personal uh, pronouns. For example, you, you, you've been working. You haven't been working. Have you been working? He, she, it, uh, it's been working. He, she, it hasn't been working. He has, uh, uh, sorry, has he, has she, has it been working? Have, be, have ha, we've been working? We haven't been working. Have we been working? Have you been working? You haven't been working. Have you been working? They've been working. They haven't been working. Have they been working? Okay, it's a bit of, it's a little bit hard sometimes. Don't get confused with the uh, we've, you've, they've, but let's try, okay? Let's repeat the first one. I've been working. I've been, I've working. been working. I haven't been working. <clears throat> I haven't, I haven't been, been working. working. Have I been working? Have, have, I, been been, wor have I been working? working? You've been working. You've been, been working. working. You haven't been working. You haven't been, been working. working. Have, been have you been working? working? Have, you, have been you been working? Have you been working? He, she, it's been working. He, she, he, it's, she it's been, been working. working. He, she, it hasn't been working. He, he she, it he, hasn't, she, it been, hasn't working. been working. Has he, she, it been working? Has he, he she, it she been, been working? working? We've been working. We've been, We've working. been working. We haven't been working. We haven't, we haven't been, been working. working. Have we been working? Have we been working? <laughs> You've been working. You've been You've working. Been working. You haven't been working. You, you haven't, haven't been, been, working. Work, been working. Have you been working? Have you, have been, you working? been working? They've been working. <laughs> They've been, They've been, been working. working. They haven't been working. They haven't been working. Have they been working? Have they been working? Okay, very good. So here I have some uh, exercises that I would like to do at least one, a couple of them. Me gustaría que hagamos un par de esos ejercicios. Y eh, les pediría que por favor para la próxima clase tengan a mano su listadito de verbos. Porque vamos a trabajar y sí lo van a necesitar. ¿verdad? Porque vamos a trabajar con el eh, past participle y no cases. Ok, so, for number one. It's a great movie. I have, and we have, oh, sorry. Permítanme que esta cosa me saco. Okay. It says, I have uh, that movie many times. And here we have three choices. So, I have in seen. C. Letter B, right? Seen. I, I have, have seen. seen. Very good. Number two. I need a um, volunteer for number two. Have you, um, have you have ever you eaten, eaten really strange or interesting food? Very good. Number three, I need volunteer for number three. Thank you, brother. So, thank you. Talk. So, yeah. so, do you? Yes. Okay. Yes, he has. Okay, very good. Uh, number four. My family and I have flown to many different countries around the world. Okay, around the world. Very good. And number nine. Okay, number nine. Volunteer for number nine. Eva, Thomas, and Robert mm -hmm. have been Hong Kong many times. Have been to. 
have been to. It's letter C, yes. Have been to Hong Kong many times. Okay, thank you, Larissa. Very good. And where is Julie and Katya? <laughs> Hello, where are you? Katya. Okay. Uh, okay, number 10. Volunteer for number 10, Katia. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, Katia, number 10. I cleaned the kitchen, but I haven't cleaned the living room yet. Okay, it's letter B, right? Yes. Okay, good. Nice, very good. Nicolas. Uh, number 11. Yes. yes. Okay. Have you ever seen a ghost? Yes. Yes, I have. Okay, very good. Nice. Julie, number 12. Okay, teacher. Um, how do you teacher grade? Graded. Graded. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, she has. Okay, it's letter A, right? Has your teacher graded the test? Yes, she has. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, the last ones. What about number five? <laughs> Volunteer for number five. Five, me. Okay, me go teacher. ahead, my dear Noel. My sister has never ridden a bicycle. Mm -hmm. She's afraid that she will fall off. Okay, very good. Uh, uh, six, number six, volunteer for number six. Eh, Miguel, se me fue Miguel. ¿Dónde está Miguelito? Aquí estoy, aquí estoy. Okay, Miguelito, please, okay. it's your, your turn. Yeah, okay. How you talk to Mr. Party? Perfect. No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. Perfect. No, I didn't. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. It's have, haven't, letter B. Thank you, Miguelito. Okay. Okay, uh, Nicolas, number seven. Number seven? Yes. I'm sorry, but I have finished my homework yet. Haven't. I haven't. haven't. Yes, okay. porque se disculpa, ¿verdad? Lo siento, pero no he terminado mi tarea todavía. Entonces, es I haven't. Letter C. Okay, thank you. Very good. Uh, Katia, number eight. Okay. Have you finished your lunch yet? Yes, I have. Okay, very good. So, number 13, uh, my dear Julie. Okay, 14. 13. Or, or if you want 14, it's okay, don't worry. Ah, oh, okay. She has a car, so she has driven. Driving there. Driving there many times. Okay, very good. Larissa, number 14. Okay, how would you? Have you done? Uh, have you done your homework? Yes, I do. Okay. Oh, yes, I have. Letter uh, C. Yes, I have. C. Letter C. C. Okay. Very good. Uh, Miguel, number fifteen. <laughs> Miguelito. Okay, yes, I connect. Ah, no, I, there no, he is. There here, he is. Here, here, here. <laughs> okay. 
um, how have you been? Oh, Fine, God. same. Okay, very good. Thank you, Miguel. Listen, this is another way to ask ¿Cómo has estado, verdad? Eh, usando el presente perfecto. ¿Cómo oh. has estado? How have you been? Bien, gracias. Fine, thanks. Uh, okay. Very good. And the last one, I will do the last one. Have you finished answering all the questions yet? ¿Verdad? Yeah. Este yet vimos que va al final. Puede ir en oraciones, eh, en preguntas. Puede ir en oraciones afirmativas. Y también puede ir en negativas. Okay, my dears, I'm going to finish the class here. I hope it's, it is clear for you the present perfect. Espero que haya quedado relativamente claro hasta ahora la, la estructura del presente perfecto para qué lo utilizamos. Y si pedirles que por favor puedan eh, tener esa listita en mano para las próximas clases porque eh, la parte 5 Ay. trata mucho acerca del present perfect. I want to encourage you to go to the platform and try to advance as much as you can, at least until reaching section five. Okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, okay. very good. Have a nice weekend. Okay. Good night. Relax and rest. Good night, everyone. Bye-bye. Okay. Good night. 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 Good night.